is a common question we get for somebody looking to modify their boat. Um, they're, they're wanting to add something where they have fiberglass in an area. And the first thing they need to do is make sure something's not behind it before they go cutting into it. So what advice would you give somebody that wants to go into a fiberglass area, but needs to make sure that it's safe and they have the room and all that before they get started? Yeah, that, that can be a challenging question, right? It, my answer kind of depends on every individual scenario. I'd say, like, if I'm looking to go into a gunnel, I'm looking, where's my fuel fill in relation to where I want to be installing whatever it is I might be doing, right? Am I going to be going through any, you know, wiring, stringers, any any vent hoses, anything like that, right? And now a deck is going to be far more challenging to identify than a gunnel, right? You really don't know when you're going into the deck. Now, I've seen some pretty pretty interesting things where people you know, had boat surveys and such and they'll have them come out and they're actually looking for like water intrusion in the hull but they're using like an like a thermal camera right it's kind of like the FLIR cameras that they're putting on there but you look and you can actually see you're seeing hot spots and cold spots but you're seeing the structure of the boat right and that might be a good way and i, I don't know if not everybody has access to those cameras they're extremely expensive but if you know somebody, that might be a good way to get an answer without having to drill a hole. But your yeah. next best bet? I think you probably your first best bet would be if there is an access plate or if there's something that has screws in it that you can pop out and look behind it. That way you know for sure. And it's that's on most boats, too, that you can probably find that close by. Yeah, you know? you'd imagine. Yeah, I they, just went they, to the extreme, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> but, they but. may have needed some rigging done, and so there's an access plate cut in somewhere. Right. So that's a that's a really good point. Yeah. Is there something else? And I love remove. the idea of pulling out like a, yeah. a a box that's there or something that's got four screws and yeah, be able exactly. to gain access. Like with me on, on my bass boat, I've got a little glove box to the right of the console, but that's where you access all the wiring. So the guys at Triton thought that one through, you know? You can mm-hmm. pull that one out, four screws, but unless you're thinking in this way, you might not even consider that. Right. But right. you take that out and you look and you can see all the wiring harnesses, everything runs right through there and you, it's an easy access point. So a lot of times the guys that are building these boats think that through a little bit, um, or at least that's the best case scenario. And sometimes you know. they document that in an owner's manual. For sure. Right. And you're able to go and look at an owner's manual and go up oh, access plate here. This is where the fuel tank is, mm-hmm. et cetera. So I think there's a lot of value to that. Um, you know, the only thing that I'd say is to back to where there's nothing on your side yeah. going back to the extreme with Matt, mm-hmm. you know, using a FLIR camera or something like that or a thermal camera to be able to see what's behind it, alternatively drilling a hole, right? right. And yeah. you want to start small. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the good news is, is if there's nothing behind it, maybe you can use like an inspection mirror or a, a boring camera to see what's there and then open it up. And now you've got a, a, a nice size hole with a hole saw that you can access and we can put a and a, a deck plate in there right. that makes it look nice and trimmed out once you get the install done. Right, right. Yeah, the deck plates for sure. And if it's an area where you think you're going to need to get in and out of it often, deck plate might be the good move. If not, we have, you know, access plates that you can install. And we see those that people add those a lot to their gunnels and stuff. So if they need to get in through the wiring or run snake wires through. Yeah, it's a good, I mean, easy upgrade. Guys that are adding a new uh, trolling motor to the front of the bow of the boat that doesn't have yeah. wiring there. How do I do this rigging, yeah. right? Um, you know, speakers. Somebody wants to add speakers up towards the front of the mm-hmm. boat. There's nothing there. And Am so you're going to be drilling into something that, you know, I don't know what I'm going to damage on the boat. Correct. I think it's inspect. If you could find something, go through the owner's manual. I think the next step for somebody is to be reach out to your dealer or your builder and yeah. go, hey, a lot of times they will actually leave in the boat when they're pulling the rigging. They'll leave a couple chase lines I've actually seen. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So that you're able to access and get down and maybe an anchor locker mm-hmm. and you see something. And then there's a line there that you can run your chase line back and be able to, to do what you need yeah, to do. For mm-hmm. sure. And I think the other like the fine point with it is use the manual is a rule of thumb. Mm-hmm. You know, do not trust that with everything that you have. I would still go through that, still drill your little pilot hole, try and get a look because... As we've talked about before, every boat is a little bit different and they might make small changes. And the Mm -hmm. last thing you want to do is go in there with a hole saw and cut a hole in your fuel tank, you know, so. Well, and you might have a manual for the tracker 167, 177, 197, Mm -hmm. you know, so it may not encompass just your specific model, but more. Yeah. And I think the other thing, too, that Matt brought up that was smart was 
check where your fuel, you know, your fuel intake mm -hmm. is. They're not going to do that and run extra, you know, piping if they don't have to. You right. kind of got to go into it with a little bit of common sense and know, okay, well, if this is really close to this, maybe let's tread a little lightly or maybe go to the other mm -hmm. side yep. or something like that. So mm -hmm. all good points.